Hello everybody and welcome to your first tutorial on making a platformer using C++ and SFML. Uh, we're in this tutorial series we're using SFML 1.6. Since at this time uh, SFML 2.0 isn't fully released yet so we're going to be using 1.6. If you are using 2.0 or if you're watching this years from now or whatever and it's a later version, uh, please look at the concepts. The concepts are, what are, are important and then the code is the next uh, important thing. So just look at the concepts, uh, try to grasp it, and hopefully you'll enjoy this whole tutorial series. So in this tutorial, uh, what we want to do is we want to set up the screen state. And what screen state is, is that uh, it's handling the transition between screens. So having like a, a, like you know in video games they have like a splash screen in the beginning. Like they show the companies, whatever, that made the game. And they might show the title screen. Then they might have a main menu screen, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that's, what we're, that's what we essentially want to set up right now. So you want to, what we're going to do is set up a, a screen manager class that's going to help manage all of the screens in our program. Now the screen manager class is going to be a singleton class and what a singleton class means is that uh, it only you only make one instance of the class and if you search on like all over the internet people are going to say singletons are evil, they're bad, etc, etc and there's a lot of good reasons why they are bad uh because they essentially make uh public stuff global it's kind of like an advanced global cl variable or whatever but it is it's encapsulated into a class but there are some good there's some uh uses some good uses for it and we're going to be putting it to good use just note that this the singleton pattern is often overused do not overuse it. It's tempting to overuse, but trust me, you don't want to use it. It's because the reason why you overuse it, is, uh, the, you don't want to overuse it too much, is because, uh, say for example, you have a variable called health or something, right? And you make your player a, a singleton class, and the health is, uh, is global or whatever, right? And you have two different players. If you change the health of one player, it changes the health of both, right? So in that case, that's that's a kind of like a bad example, but there's some things that are used by many different classes, and if you change one thing from them, then you run into a problem. And I, I'm one of the people that overuse singletons, and I, I've run into problems like that before, so uh, take that from me. So anyways, to begin, what we want to do is create a new project, and yeah, I'll, I'll say, save it as SFML uh, platformer. Why is my caps lock? Oh, okay. Oh, there's already a project with that same name. Okay, I'll just do platform. Okay, so we have our main.cpp, uh, but for this tutorial, we're not going to be adding the SFML files. You could add them if you want, the default files, but uh, we're not going to get into that uh, as of yet. What we want to do is just set up the screen manager class. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to file, uh, new, and class. And we're going to put in the class name in here. So, screen manager. And we're going to click create. Okay, so we have created, we've successfully created our screen manager class. Now, uh, in the private section, what we're going to do is we're going to take the we're going to override three different constructors. We're going to override the default constructor, the copy constructor, and the assignment operator. Okay, so we're going to uh, do this by doing screen manager constant and and void operator equals screen manager constant and 
And if you don't know about operator overloading or, or any of or what a copy constructor or assignment operator or anything is, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using it in this tutorial series, so uh, don't worry about it. The reason why I say pretty sure is because we're just going to be adding a, a lot of things as we go along. So what, if you if you have an idea to put into the game, then just suggest it in the comments below, and and I'll show you how to incorporate it in your game, right? Uh, in the platformer. So there's nothing set in stone what this is going to be, but I doubt that I'm really going to be using operator overloading and if I do, I will explain it easily. But it's a good concept to look into, so even if you don't know it, you should look into it. Okay? So uh last what we're going to do is uh right here we're going to say static uh, screen manager and we're gonna say we can say get instance or instance or whatever we'll say get instance and we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make some new variables just to sh test uh, a singleton just to show you how it works so what we're gonna do is we're going to include the string class and we're gonna include IO stream Okay, so what we're going to have is in the private section, we're going to have a string, and we'll just name it text, and we'll have we'll have two functions: set text, and we're going to have draw text. Okay, so this is not, a, we're going to erase this after this tutorial, but this is just to show you how it works, okay? So, to set up, to set up uh, the singleton class is what we have to do. Oh, but before, there was a mistake that I made, so before we even finish this, put an ampersand there, and right here, we're going to put an ampersand. Now, for some people, uh, for a lot of examples on the internet, you might see a pointer or something to it. It's better to do it with reference so you don't have to delete anything, deallocate it by yourself. It handles it automatically. Uh, so it's a safer, it's a safer way to handle it. So we're going to do, we're going to say static screen manager instance and we're going to say return instance. Now we have to say static because we're treating it as though it's like a static class. So if you know anything that's static, basically you can access it by using uh, the class name and the scope operator. And um, it's, it's basically like a global variable, but it belongs to a class, right? So basically that's what we're doing. We're basically making this a static class. And, and if you want to look more into static classes, you can. We're making a static class, so basically we need to make this is static instance so uh and the reason why and we're making a static class but we the difference with this is and uh and a regular static class is that we can't create a copy of it because the constructor and everything else is private right and we override the uh the default operation so therefore we cannot create another instance of the class if we try to make an instance of the class like so we'll run into an error so we need to create we need to make it static so that we don't run into an error and you can search up on the internet um why this works etc cetera, etc cetera. so quickly before my time runs out we're going to have set text and in this function we're just going to say this text is equal to the text in the parameters and we're going to have the draw text and we're just going to draw that to the screen or to the console window okay so we're done that so if we go to main we got to include the screen manager class and what we're going to do is we're going to say sin dot dot get oh Okay, so what this is how we use singleton. So since we're using a reference, we're gonna do screen manager colon colon the scope operator. So we're gonna get the instance, and then we're gonna say dots, and then we're gonna use a function that we want to use. So 
and then if you want to draw draw text and it will draw it to the screen now if you're using a pointer or whatever all you'd have to do was change this to a, a pointer symbol uh but the census uh, since this is uh, if you if you try to do it like this, if you try to do the scope operator, and you just said draw text or whatever, you would run into an error. You need to get the instance so you get the instance of the class since it's a true singleton, right? And remember that you have to in Screen Manager that uh, H you have to include these two three things or it will not be a true singleton class. So anyways, let us run this program quickly to see what we get. And if we look at the console one right here, it says testing the exact word that we put in there. So that is how our singleton class is going to work. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.